Did you know that both men and women can have breast cancer? It is the most common type of cancer among women and most breast cancers are self-detected. If you have a history of breast cancer or any cancer in your family, you'll want to hear what our doctor, Dr. Mary Nyangasi, has to say today. Welcome, Mary. What do we need to know about breast cancer? Thank you, Vismita. The first thing that you need to know is that breast cancer is curable in the vast majority of cases, especially if it's detected early and treated comprehensively. Breast cancer occurs when cells in the milk producing tissues of the breast begin to grow at an abnormal pace and in abnormal areas. As they continue to multiply, they begin to appear as lumps or thickenings. They will multiply further and invade surrounding tissues, especially the lymph nodes of the armpits and clavicles, and even beyond to other parts of the body. Mary, you know, when somebody in our family gets any kind of cancer, that kind of triggers uh, concerns in the rest of the family members. I remember being worried when my father got cancer. What role does a family history play? Who is at risk of breast cancer? Actually, Vismita, family history is an established risk factor for cancer, both in men and in women. Based on our current understanding, about 5 to 10 percent of breast cancers come from a family history. Actually, the majority of uh, cases of breast cancer diagnosed occur in women without a family history or inherited mutation. The only risk factor being gender and age. Wait, so being a woman and aging are my biggest risk factors for breast cancer? Yes, but there are things that you can do to reduce your risk of breast cancer. Remember, drinking even small amounts of alcohol increases your risk of breast cancer. The more you drink, the higher the risk. Also, you need to maintain a healthy body weight and exercise regularly. Breastfeeding also reduces your risk of developing breast cancer. Avoiding the use of postmenopausal hormonal replacement therapy reduces the risk of developing breast cancer as well. However, there are ways you can detect breast cancer early. For example, for many women around the world, mammography offers an option to screen and detect uh, breast lesions early, even before they appear as lumps. I've always wondered, mammography uh, is radiation, right? And radiation is one of the risks for breast cancer. How can you explain this? When you look at the benefits of early detection vis-a-vis uh, -vis the minimal risk of radiation exposure, which is 250 times less than the dose that causes cancer, then it's uh, really important to prioritize mammography. So once a person has a diagnosis of breast cancer, how can you increase their chances of survival? Actually, this meter, a breast cancer diagnosis is daunting and the treatment even more tasking because it may include surgery, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, but completing treatment is important to improve survival. Usually we know that uh, broader care needs, psychosocial support, counseling, mental care, and even nutritional care and physical care can help women to complete their treatment. Many women will see or have some abnormalities in their breast and early care is better care. They should be empowered to seek care from a healthcare provider when they have any breast cancer concerns. Talking about your health issues is not always easy for women, but even before you can talk about it, you have to know if there is a problem. So uh, talk to us, give us some tips about breast self-examination. What I can say is that there is no definite technique. Adopting a routine schedule can help. Identifying a specific day of the month, usually for women, who are still having their periods. This is seven days after your menstrual period. And for those who are postmenopausal, you can just identify a date of the month that you can regularly check your breasts. If uh, you can be able to look at the four quadrants of the breast, because the breast can be divided into four quadrants, and you can be able to compare the two breasts and where there is something 
you feel that it's not regular on both sides. If you have any concerns, please visit your healthcare provider for further examination. Actually, it's important to note that majority of breast cancers are self-detected. Thank you, Mary. There you have it. Most breast cancers are self-detected, so take charge of your health. Until next time then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stick with science.